Sun Odyssey 349 and it's got twin rudders. We were working on it the other day and the excellent engineer Richard from Pinnacle Marine said I had a problem with this rudder so we've dropped it. And you aren't going to believe what we're going to see. So, as you can see, lots and lots of pitting. Classic corrosion. There's the bush. And again, the bush has had it. You can see the ring around the top where it's corroding. And in places, it's actually gone completely. And if we turn it over, look at the colour. That pink. That is electrolysis. Look at where the bearing at the bottom end there is. You can see it's been eaten away completely. And what's interesting is where that meets the rudder post. Just have a look at the profile of that post and what's been done to it. Pull that rubber seat out where you can see. It's been completely destroyed. Now looking on the internet, it appears, and the engineer confirmed the other day, it was him that first mentioned it, these lower bearings are normally acetal, which is a, a plastic-based material and it does not cause this kind of electrolysis. So this is a really serious problem. I was about to go and sail off over the North Sea and obviously we're not now, so it's going to be a new rudder. Um, unless it was going to be bright ideas. I know I've seen some videos of people cutting rudders open and embedding new posts. That I think will be too much work and time to make it worth the difference in buying a new rudder for this particular boat. So we're looking at a very expensive fix, probably best part of 4,000 quid. Any thoughts on how I can fix this or what I could have done to stop it happening? Um, and clearly we're going to need to find another lower bearing that isn't made of copper. But it's gone through and it's now caused a dissimilar metals breach between that and that. And I mean, I wouldn't go, I mean, that's some serious corrosion. I mean, I'd expect to see this yeah. in it, but I mean, this is eating the bloody stock away. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh, the hull anode, as you can see, is pretty sound. Um, there's lots of that left. It's got a galvanic isolator on it for yeah. the for the shore power. Yeah. That is actually quite deep in there, isn't it? The way yeah. that corrosion goes back in. So I'm just trying to think what else would cause such an attack on the rudders, really. I mean, I've, it's quite bad. I've not seen one that just dress it for a while. Actually, this one's better off than the other one. Okay. Which I was amazed to hear. But that's actually eaten a, a lot of metal away. We can see here, the rudders are out of the water when the boat is in the marina. Yeah. Stationary. It's only submerged when you heal. This rudder, and you can see here, it's in much better condition than mine, but that corrosion has started. That corrosion is starting to have an effect. So the question is how long before that goes the way mine has. This is where things get a bit tricky. When you look at the galvanic series chart, it becomes apparent that this kind of corrosion really shouldn't be affecting the rudder stock. Stainless steel 304 and stainless steel 316, and I think the rudder stock is stainless 316, it's way, way down the list when compared to either brass, copper or bronze. So whatever that lower bearing is made of, it should be the one that is um, the anode and the stock should be the cathode. Which means we shouldn't be seeing the kind of pitting and corrosion that we're seeing on that stock. Bear in mind also that the rudder is not in the water. The top of the rudder is not in the water when the boat's in the marina and we've removed any hint of it being caused by shore power or local uh, electrical effects in the marina or any of those other problems. So the only time that rudder stock is submerged is when the boat is heeling over under sail. So there must be something else causing this corrosion and I can't imagine what it is. So Jono, uh, you make this boat, it's less than eight years old. So what caused it? Can you look into it? Can you help me with the cost of replacing these? Because it's substantial. And what are you going to do to reassure me and other 349 owners that everything is okay with this boat? This is a really, really serious potential incident. I was about to sail off across the North Sea and had I had heavy weather and had a rudder post bend because of the corrosion having reduced its strength, 
uh, which I know is a, a slim chance, but if it had happened, I would have been unable to steer at all because of the rudder being jammed against the hull. And I would ask you, Jono, to take it seriously and investigate for me and find out what could have caused this. One possible thing that comes to mind is that where the, the lower um, ring seal that's on there, that white plastic looking part is on there, and it's got the bearing above it, what you've got is a void, an annulus, underneath that, uh, where there's a, a, a cavity which is not properly filled and shouldered, and so water will sit in there. And it could just be that when it's healed over, it fills with salt water, and the water doesn't move. And if the water doesn't move and sits in the same place, then what happens, of course, is that the oxygen depletes from that water, and the oxygen in the water is needed for stainless steel to protect itself. And so because there's no way of water draining out of that cavity, it sits there while the boat's in the marina and quietly rots. That's one possibility. I really would like you, Jono, to tell me what's going on and what you're going to do about it.